So guess where I am? First of all, while you're trying to guess, um, I'd just like to give a very huge apology to all of my family and friends, my fans and followers and my sponsors all over the world for my lack of communication in the last two months. It has been the most difficult and challenging two months of my life, being in and out of hospital and most of the time just laying flat on a bed doing nothing. And all of my doctors have agreed now, that's not working and the levels are not coming up. I'm not having a good response to my infusions. So they said, let's try exercise. And I was like, yes, finally. So I've had two months of, um, you know, not feeling very well physically and then also mentally so challenging not being able to exercise and be outdoors and just do my thing. So I'm really excited about being here. So if you haven't guessed yet, I'm in Tasmania. So after my lap around New South Wales, which I really, really enjoyed, I just kind of had this idea, why don't I try and lap all of the states? So I flew down to Tasmania and I've been here a lot. Um, I used to come for the Christmas carnivals uh, on the track when I was about 15, 16, 17. And I was billeted out to this family that looked after me really well. So they picked me up from the airport and I spent the day with them and it was absolutely fantastic. I loved it in Launceston. Um, but now I'm actually in Georgetown. So it's the third oldest European settlement in the world and it's actually Australia's oldest town, Georgetown. So it's um, had a walk around yesterday. It's, it's absolutely beautiful. So uh, I think today will be a nice day. I won't have this jacket on for too long. Um, and I'm going to try and do a clockwise lap of Tasmania, a little bit of off-road stuff. So I'll have the gravel bike out, got a girlfriend following me in the van. So um, she's really experienced with um, doing tours. That's what she does. So cycling tours, I'll have great support. I will be on the gravel, gravel plus for some of the uh, ride and uh, got my F12 here in beautiful condition. Thanks to DeGrandy Cycling Sport who rebuilt it after that lap around New South Wales. Um, stripped it down and put on new parts and bearings and everything, cleaned all that dust and dirt out of it so it's ready to go. So um, yeah, no real expectations. Today I'm going to try and get to Bridport which is going to be a flat 60 kilometres, take it easy and just take Tasmania in. You know, I've done a lap of Tasmania before with the Amy Gillett Foundation, but I was racing back then and I was really focused on myself and my body rather than, you know, taking in Tasmania. And uh, people do say it's God's country of the world. It's absolutely stunning. So we're going to see a lot of Tasmania, going to film a lot of it, going to share a lot of it with you. Just take it easy and um, yeah, see if my body will let me get around this lap of Tasmania. So there's a lot of unknown, but at least for today, the weather's going to be great. So I'll share with you how the trip goes. So I'll be in touch again this afternoon. Hopefully make it to Bridport, have a look around there. And um, yeah, I'll keep in touch and see how it goes. Bye. Well, this is interesting. Everyone told me it was dead flat from Georgetown to Bridport. And I seem to have been going up and down, up and down all day. So whew, they must be talking in Richie Port terms with this dead flat because it's uh, not what I call flat. So here we are, just rolling into Bridport. It's actually only 55 kilometers today, but uh, yeah, up and down the whole way. Bit of wind, dead roads, but uh, Bridport looks quite nice. So just keep it easy to start with and just ride my way into it. Bye. Good flat they say. Well, that was nice. It was only 55k, not 60. So, how nice was it coming over the top and just seeing the water? It was, it was like awesome. Real. Good morning. It's day two today of my lap around Tasmania. And check out how beautiful this morning is. So it's a bit fresh. So we've got long nicks on, new kit day. I'm um, just trying to keep warm. It's going to be a beautiful hot day, but just uh, taking off in the morning. It's a little bit fresh. It's a little bit fresh, but it is going to warm up today. So I've got to change of clothes in the van and uh, when it warms up. And we've got some dirt road today as well. So I'll switch on to the gravel bus. The S12 at the moment. It's going to be a fun day.
what a stunning morning. So I've ridden this morning from Bridport to Gladstone and just made a stop here in Gladstone. Actually, this is where we're staying tonight. It's the most northeastern township in Tasmania with only a population of 140 people and one of the very few towns that still do mining for tin. So it's a tin mining town and Gladstone Central Apartments is where we're staying tonight. But we are going to go a bit further northeast out to Cape Portland. We believe it's all dirt road. So we've got the Gravel Plus out, put the F12 back in support vehicle and kit change ready to go so we're going to see how this uh, dirt road out to the most northeastern tip of tasmania cape portland see how we go bye you know remember this headwinds corrugations Woo. hills made it so Cape Portland one of the most beautiful places I've been to in Tasmania absolutely spectacular so had some pretty crazy roads to ride the gravel plus one coming in really uh, soft sand all over the place so my early start this morning's come to a grinding halt after five kilometers come out on the uh, f12 this morning and the surface is just giving my bike an absolute beating. And switch over to the Gravel Plus again because I think this is going to go for like another 20 or 30 kilometers. And I just don't want to keep smashing the uh, F12. No fear, my support backup was here before I could even blink. So check it out. Back on the Gravel Plus. And I've been told Tasmania is a bit like Slovenia. You never know when these roads are actually sealed or not sealed. But we've got a beautiful morning and I've seen lots of kangaroos jumping out in front of me. It's going to be another stunning morning and I've got the uh, long kit on but it uh, won't be long until I change into my, uh, I just think my short bib shorts and uh, jersey. Maybe even go sleeveless because we've got beautiful weather here in Tassie. It's just the morning's uh, 6 degrees when I left this morning and by lunchtime it'll be about 18, 19. So. Alright, I'm set, I'm ready to go. Oh, I love this bike, it's gonna be so much more comfortable. Yeah. Right. Push, 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 push. Just some more challenges. What a day, huh? So, this is the uh, terrain we've been on now for some 10k. day three so this morning I rode from Gladstone to St Helens and we had no idea but it was 60 kilometers off-road and it was really really tough I mean I struggled it was super hard and now I've got another oh, over 40 k's to get to White Sands Beach which sounds really really nice um, resort where we're gonna stay tonight uh, and it's supposed to be all paved now all um, surface road but in any case, I'm staying on the Gravel Plus. It's nice and comfortable. And I've had a super tough morning um, with all the bumps and deep sand. And whew, so my legs are a bit tired and um, just looking for that comfort ride in. 40 k's to go to uh, end part two of day three of my lap of Tasmania. 
Rediscover Tasmania! Yeah! Beautiful! So here's a little random fact for those people that didn't know. My family call me Shelly, so I found Shelly Point. Look out, down there. Go and check it out. Tell you what, that was the most epic 100k I think I've ever done. Just the unexpected, when we took off, I was thinking we'd have nice rolling 100k, tailwind, smooth roads along the coast. That first 60 that was just off-road, deep sand, dirt. I guess I struggled right from the start, that first 60k's. And then um, St. Helens was quite a nice little township. So had a nice meat pie for lunch. Found a bike shop to service my F12. I'm gonna wash the gravel bike tonight as well. So um, yeah, made it to this uh, White Sands estate, which is stunning. I think I might have to have a little bit of a stretch and a nap before I go exploring, but good day in the bag, 100K. We'll see what tomorrow brings. Okay, it's times like this when I seriously, seriously feel very, very spoiled. My uh, tour guide from Malianera Tours has chosen this beautiful place that she's had her tours uh, stay out before, White Sands Beach. So you have a little resort over there, just walk 40 metres with our own private track to a private beach. And the waters are crystal clear. Water temperature is perfect, been in and out all day, been swimming in the pool, washed my bikes, just had the most relaxing day and absolutely loving the weather. And this water, the water temperature is just perfect. So if you ever come to Tasmania, White Sands Resort, it's absolutely stunning. So I wish everyone could be here and join me. It's just, uh, it's been such a beautiful day. Anyway, back on the bike tomorrow, a couple of big ones coming up. So um, stay tuned. They're not moving anywhere too quick. Oh, here they go. Early morning traffic here at uh, White Sands Beach and I'm heading down to Coles Bay first and then uh, catch a ferry across to Nine Mile Beach and then kick on a bit more. Good morning. It's absolutely freezing here in Tasmania. I'm just waiting for a little tinny boat to take me from Coles Bay across to Dolphin Sands, which is Nine Mile Beach that I'm gonna try to ride across um, to Swansea. Uh, I've come from the White Sands Estate Resort this morning, um, down here to Coles Bay. Get the little tinny across. It's Dolphin, Dolphin Sands across Nine Mile Beach over to Swansea. And then I think it's about uh, 60 or 70 k's down to Orford, where I'll stay tonight. So the tinny's only got to actually get me from this jetty with a bike across to where that house is, that little sandy beach I think I'll get dropped off. Still waiting for my little tinny boat. Wish I was going with these guys, just wondering if I could get my bike into one of those canoes. Paddle cross. Tell you what, I'm grateful that I put these uh, little toe covers from Centene on this morning. Whew. Had short legs, but um, long jacket. But just waiting here, just trying to keep warm. Well, I'm still waiting for this tinny boat. I really hope it shows up. They did charge the credit card when I booked it yesterday, but uh, fingers crossed they'll show up. I may as well, I've been hanging out for this actually, my favorite um, protein bar. It's uh, vanilla cheesecake. I absolutely love it. Yum, yum. Okay, so I'm absolutely like a freezing ice box now. It's been one hour waiting here. Looks like this is my boat. It's just arrived, fingers crossed. So after my eventful trip, from uh, Coles Bay over to Dolphin Sands. I'm now at Nine Mile Beach and I'm going to see if my Gravel Plus will make it across the Nine Mile Beach over to Swansea. So we'll just have to see how these tyres go on the uh, sand there. Sand's 
straight over the bars. I was super ready for it. I knew it was happening in the moment. All good. East Coaster Resort in Orford and it's on a bay uh, so it was about 130 140 kilometers today quite hard at the start super fast at the finish um, spent a little bit of time at uh, Nine Mile Beach where I had a fantastic blooper so you have to stay tuned to see that one absolutely sensational saw it happening right before my eyes not much i could do but um yeah it's going to be a good blooper so we are at orford this morning and we are heading down to port arthur it should be nice and fast i would imagine if the wind doesn't pick up it's sprinkling a little bit out there it's about 10 degrees i've got another new kit day with santini today so nothing like a new kit day um after an hour i'll get into my sis uh, vanilla cheesecake protein bar so that'll be breakfast um, hopefully it's a quick trip down there and apparently Port Arthur is really spectacular so I might get the drone out. Uh, I might have a puncture here so I might have to do a wheel change before we go but um, I'm all set. Wish me luck and I'll let you know how it goes and uh, if I get down to Port Arthur. 100 kilometres with 40 kilometres of gravel. Tell you what, Mally and Nero tours. Might be experienced and know what they're doing but certainly take the hardest roads, they don't take the easy ones. Woo! So a couple of cases to climb here. And then that 30k of gravel. I thought we were just gonna take the main road, main road down to Port Arthur. Flying, but no. Flying the challenges, that's for sure. I didn't think I was gonna to come to Tasmania without my gravel bike. Most of the roads have been gravel so far. So very, very lucky. Are you gonna come and explore Tasmania? shades. I'm feeling quite fresh this morning. I've got new pads in my helmet which just make it so much more comfortable and uh, new shades which are very leery. Um, once this is done up it won't be too much of a clash but uh, the other new thing for today is I'm wearing full booty covers and that hasn't happened since I raced in like Tour of Flanders or in the snow so um, yeah it's six degrees out there this morning and I do a little short one from um, Port Arthur up to Hobart and then another really big two days coming up on the gravel bike so just take it easy today see how i get through and um then doing a bit of media at the hotel in hobart the wool shed it's um cycling hotel cycling enthusiasts they really look after you um so some media and news will come over and we'll do some promotion for the hotel there and then um, have an easy afternoon before a few big days coming up And uh, early start, I think it's about 7 o'clock. So, you know I love my mornings, but uh, it's really fresh in the mornings in Tasmania. So about 6 to 10 degrees when I set off. A uh, really short one this morning, just from Coffin to Hobart. I'm going to spend the day in Hobart today, so get there nice and early. Checking into the Wolfstore Hotel, which is a cycling hotel. So they're really excited for us to get there. And uh, yeah, my support vehicle's going ahead this morning. Hang on a sec, I need to change the gifts. Lots of hills in Tasmania. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I've got all the warm stuff on. Got the booty covers this morning. Back on the uh, F12. Hopefully nice smooth roads. 
and I've also got a heat pack um, stuck on my back. So just because of the early mornings, the back's jamming up a little bit, but uh, otherwise, I'm just loving this. Like how sunny is Tasmania. I am rediscovering Tasmania by bike. Traffic on this bridge. Uh, they're pretty relaxing, Tasmania. Traffic's been really good. So, just on my way heading into Hobart and uh, have a relaxing Sunday there. Bye. Well, it was nice to finally have a shorter ride from Copping into Hobart. So, very relaxing ride, 50 kilometres. And uh, got here nice and early, 9 o'clock. I'll make it in time for breakfast. Um, the Woolstore Hotel, they're doing an amazing job catering for cyclists, so cycling specific hotel. They said when we come in there will be a mat in the room with a bike stand to throw your bike on, straight out the door into the cleaning room for bikes. So they said we'll have a couple of water bottles for you there. Um, so I'm really looking forward to just being in a hotel where they actually get cycling in the middle of Hobart. So i um, going to have a nice Sunday I think, just chilling. A Chilling out in Hobart, make it to breakfast in time, got my 50Ks in, have a bit of a stretch, maybe a bit of a massage, I've got a heat pack on my back there, so yeah, it's nice to um, be here and just have a, a cool day in Hobart. So keep you posted a bit later. Good morning. It's an exciting day for me, International Women's Day. It's just one of those days in the year where I really reflect on all of the amazing thing that women do all around the world. You know, in business, in sport, in volunteering and changing the world and just the kindness. And I guess my message today is that um, if you have an idea to do something, some inspiration to do something, you really do need to block out those negative opinions of uh, why you can't do it. A lot of people will tell you, all the reasons why you can't achieve something and the ifs and buts but if you don't have a go you don't know so after i did that lap around new south wales i spent a lot of time wondering well with COVID, what am i going to do next and i was like i'd love to ride all the states of australia so tasmania was next on um, the agenda for me and i'm here and i've got a good friend supporting me that i used to race with and she's a tour guide so perfect what more could you want and we don't have a real plan we just come to tasmania and we try to stay as close to the edge of the island as we can with the equipment that we have and set off each morning. So today, 130 kilometers from Hobart up to Taralia, and uh, I'll start on the F12, I'll probably end up on the Gravel Plus. Still got a little bit of tension in my lower back, so the Gravel Plus sits up a little bit um, more upright. But uh, yeah, International Women's Day, have a think today. What do you want to do? And see if you can put it into action and have a go. up the west coast now. Uh, left Hobart this morning, got about 95 kilometers. I'm um, just about to pull into a little town called Oos, which looks very small. Uh, I'm gonna grab a meat pie and a Diet Coke here and then another 40 kilometers up to Tularia, where I'll stay tonight and then Queenstown tomorrow. So this looks like the little town. Had some fast downhill sections, Rough road. Now just keep an eye out for my van and... How is that possible? I never learned my lesson. Stop at the bottom of a massive climb for a meat pie and a Diet Coke. It takes a while for the legs to get going again. Bloody back. Whew. Oh man, I'll stop and give it a stretch here. Yep, that first 100k was super fast. Oh, the last 30.
close now. Woo. I can hear my front disc brake rubbing the whole time I'm climbing. Still my head in a little bit. Woo. But it is what it is. Keep going. All fun and games. It's stunning. Check it out. I'm on the gravel class still. Got smaller gear on this bike and these climbs are pretty damn steep. So yeah, about 20k to go to Taralia. It's getting really tough. Nearly there. I'm on a private road on the way into the accommodation at Taralia. And only just turning the pedals over. Oh, I can see a support vehicle there waiting for me. The hotel's gotta be out here somewhere. But it's a seriously tough day. Every single muscle in my legs. I'm only just turning the pedals over. Whew, big day. <laughs> oh, hello. This is beautiful. Quite the effort, nearly died getting here, but what a gorgeous place. Yeah, sensational. Good morning. Early start. Got the van behind me. Kangaroos. Leaving nice and early this morning. Lots of potholes, bumpy roads, kangaroos, rabbits. You name it. So this is me early in the morning. New helmet day today. Bit of aero. Uh, no one out. It's just gorgeous. Life is the fullest Beautiful morning. And you see our helmet's pretty fast on those downhills. Loving it. Good morning. It's an early start this morning. I left uh, around 7 o'clock, maybe a bit earlier actually, from um, Taralia, big climb out of Taralia into Derwent Bridge where we are now at 8 o'clock at the Hungry Wombat Cafe and unfortunately it's closed but I would really seriously love a hot chocolate, oh, I'm craving one. <laughs> oh, we one today since we stopped at Derwent Bridge, had a hot chocolate, it's just been raining all day so Oh, I think I've got about 40k left to get to Queenstown. Dry feet, but everything else is wet. So it's just started to dry up a little bit. The road's getting a bit more dry. But uh, check this out. I've got a puncher here. Let's have a look. There it is. So we've got the sealant in there, but you can see it's just and it's all over the Pinarello, it's all over the crank. And that white stuff there is all sealant as well, so to give the bike a good wash. Um, got some spare wheels in the van, which is right behind me. Always spot on, so quick wheel change. And uh, another puncher, just part of it. Brutal. Here we go again. So I've left uh, Queenstown this morning and headed towards Zihan. Uh, and that was just climb, climb, climb. And uh, I just passed through Zihan, which is absolutely beautiful. Such an old little town. You could just imagine a horse and cart going through there. Very cool. Uh, and now I'm still climbing um, towards Corona, where we have to take a ferry to get across a river and then see where I get to. Bye. Oh, I know I'm making so many people jealous. It's absolutely stunning. So I was reading up about this road along the east coast uh, of Tasmania and uh, they say it's a road to nowhere 
Uh, very little traffic. There is no phone cell reception and there's one phone box in 200 kilometers. Um, so other than that, I don't think we're gonna see much. It did say that we might see some Tasmanian devils because this is the last place that they were seen um, out of them here. It's just something about the feeling of being out on roads where it's just you. You and the road, sounds of the birds, sounds of the uh, tires on the asphalt. So yeah, I'm in heaven. from Arthur River. That's a little beach cottage that we stayed in last night. And this morning I've just woken up and come out for a walk along the beach and it is absolutely stunning. So I think it might be a great day here at Arthur River to take off the bike, have a rest, stretch the legs out a little bit. And uh, yeah, it seems to be absolutely amazing. Um, had a little drive around yesterday afternoon and would really like to go for some walks along the trails and really explore Arthur River. So stunning. I'm so excited. I've just washed my bike in less than five minutes. Um, so on two of the most important thing is to bring a good stand. I've got my park tool stand, which is fantastic. But uh, my secret ingredient to washing a bike is my Morgan Blue products. So this is absolutely the best cleaning product for a bike that you can ever have. It's Morgan Blue Chain Cleaner, and I'm hoping the Bike Sports Australia have sent me some more so I can pick up in a couple of days because I've still got like five or 600K to go. But um, this chain cleaner, what you do is you spray it on the front of the chain. So spray, 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 and then come around the back, spray the back of the chain. So I just spray through here, spray, 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 spray. I've already done this, obviously. Um, and then I spray straight into the links. So all of the dirt just drops straight out. A little bit on the back of the jockey wheels, a little bit on the front of the jockey wheels and hose it down and then do it again. So two times with the Morgan Blue chain cleaner. Um, and then the second thing is this Morgan Blue bike wash. It's strong detergent and it gets your bike squeaky clean. So Morgan Blue have these very cool little hand things. Just dip it into your Morgan Blue product with a little bit of water. I've already sponged it all over. Um, you know, get all the sweat out of the handlebars, come around, lift the bike up, get under the bottom bracket, do the cranks, make sure you clean your pedals. Um, and then what you can do, because your chain is so clean, you can actually use this to wash the Morgan Blue chain cleaner off your chain. There won't be any dirt on there because the Morgan Blue chain cleaner gets it so clean. Uh, so after you do that, hose the bike down, let the bike drip dry. After it drip dries a little bit now, I'll wipe it down and uh, polish it up a little bit. And then I'll get a rag and dry the chain, let the chain dry overnight. And the last really cool thing from Morgan Blue is this race oil. Because I wash my bike nearly every day, this low friction race oil is the absolute best for me. So once it's dry in the morning, I'll actually put the chain cleaner on like the oil, sorry, Morgan Blue oil on like this. And then I will put a little bit in the jockey wheels here, a little bit in the jockey wheels here, come around the back, a little bit more in the jockey wheels here, jockey wheels here. And because I'm riding road pedals on my gravel bike, I put a bit of oil in here so I can get in and out very quickly as well. Um, so I keep my pedals loose with the, uh, with the oil. And that is about it for washing your bike on tour. Obviously I put a little bit more effort in at home, but on tour, if you have the right products, easy.
Good morning. Well, today's going to be a big one. Got 100 kilometers on this surface. So you can see the road is up and down, bumpy, slippery. Check out the sunrise. Yeah, so it's going to be a long day. It's going to be a hard day. Hard on the arms, hard on the body. This is just crazy, amazing, beautiful Tasmania. So you can see the sunrise this morning. So fun to coming down those hills. I think I probably need a mountain bike for this when you're going downhill. It's like bumpy, bumpy, bumpy. So not even done 10k in half an hour, 7k. I'm actually quite hungry too. Do you have one of those uh, SIS bars? Oh yeah. I am whew, in big trouble. I've only done 20k, it's 100k, but um, it's slow, you know, coming up and down these hills. So about halfway now to Arthur River. And the biggest challenge today has actually been the bike because even though this road looks pretty smooth, it's actually quite challenging and bumpy. So going down the steep descents, I've had to hold on so tight and not jump off the handlebars, trying to hold the brakes, going over the bumps. sensational after all those vibrations 100k of that all the way over there you can see in the distance now yeah, look how smooth this is and i'm still on the gravel bike very dirty dirty legs still got uh 30 psi in the tires but this uh surface woo, it's like heaven yeah definitely the toughest uh 90k on gravel i've ever done in my life so i'd say technically Harder than Strata Bianchi, harder than anything I've done before. And uh, now I'm on some nice smooth road on the way into Arthur River. This is where I was told to finish my ride today. It's called the Edge of the World. And it's at uh, Arthur River. And it looks pretty spectacular. So I am at officially the Edge of the World and had a sensational ride. So after my fantastic tutorial on how to wash a bike yesterday and got my bike squeaky clean, check it out after today's 100K on the gravel. It is absolutely filthy. <laughs> the chain, everything was jamming up, jumping off. You should see how much dirt is in everywhere. Yeah, I am gonna get up at some point. I've been ready for an hour, but I just keep getting back into bed. It's one of those days. I wanted to go early, but I'm just absolutely smashed. Guess I do have to get up and get into it. Now that the light's up, we're gonna leave in the dark. But I need my lights now. I just feel like going back to sleep. All right, give me 10 minutes. Oh, it was so hard to get out of bed this morning, but now that I'm out of bed, this is just beautiful. I've seen kangaroos, Tasmanian devils, Beautiful sunrise again, and we're just about to hit some gravel, 
so it's going to be a tough day, but oh, really nice to be out here. So I'll get into it, get my bike dirty, go for it. sunrise it's been a fantastic morning watching the sunrise kangaroo yeah lots of wildlife absolutely beautiful stunning I've just stopped on the gravel for something to eat it's a bit too hard and rough and bouncy to be um, one hand going down these hills That's the thing I didn't expect about Tassie is that the gravel sections, unlike the lap I did in New South Wales, is just up and down, up and down. So beautiful views, beautiful morning. Love you, Tasmania. Okay, it wouldn't be Tasmania if it wasn't raining. Bumpy roads, rain, it's getting a bit cold as well. Got a bit of everything in my day. Got off the gravel, and I'm having a baby wipe shower on the side of the road because I've got dirt in between my toes, clean shoes. <laughs> It was wet, it was muddy, it was, oh, it was so tough. And still got 100k to go, so yeah, just dirty helmet, dirty bike. So I finished uh, getting changed at Smithton. I've been in Jetski restaurant, had an omelet. Gravel bike is filthy. Still got 100k to go, so sun's out. New kit, fresh kit, back out there. Discovered Tasmania by bike because these experiences are just unreal. Look at that road swing. Love to be on that. <laughs> hey, I just did a little lap around Burnie. Oh, it brings back great memories of the Christmas carnivals I used to do. Oh, yeah. What a sensational ride, even with that ocean. So fast, too. Loved it. So, one more day to go to get back to Georgetown where we started. I am heading out for my very last day from Bernie to Georgetown where I started the lap of Tasmania. Now we tried to take all of the hardest routes possible. Um, today is day 12 so it'll be 12 day lap of Tasmania and I'll be back on the Dogma F12 which is the stiffest ride that you can actually get and I've been most of the time on the Greville Plus and uh, it's a very comfortable bike obviously so this is going to be fast um, down the coast I think we just had this direction all the way down to Georgetown and uh, yeah I guess the thing about Tasmania this loop was that I expected it to be a bit longer it's only going to be about 1400 kilometers 
but uh, there was over 13,000 meters of climbing so far and all on gravel so because we stayed really really close to the edge and not on the main roads we had really tough up and down gravel so um, it's been a really really cool trip um, I've loved it we've had great weather we've had some rain some days but mostly just really good weather but and I'm sure if we were in Yorkshire at Betty's maybe they'd be better but let's see how they compare because I don't know where we are somewhere in Tasmania out in the middle of nowhere on some dead windy windy Frankfurt. road Frankfurt <laughs> where are we? Frankfurt Frankfurt anyway let's see if uh, these compare to Betty's scones a bit of jam and cream hot chocolate so I've done 90k's 60k to go I'm hoping these scones are going to get me there <laughs> and that'll complete the life of Tassie. So I've just had a nice stop after 90 kilometres. I've had some scones, I've had hot chocolate, nice little rest, uh, had a baby wipe shower, got into some fresh kit. So a beautiful cafe here, Blueberry Barn Cafe and uh, yeah, wiped the bike over and we're all ready to go again. But, uh, another 60 60 odd kilometers I guess um, into Georgetown so see how we go see you when I get there fingers crossed an altercation with the lollipop lady <laughs> you're not lollipop. giving us any lollipops <laughs> no lollipop for you <laughs> they get a lot of power when they get the stop sign in the hand for getting me around Tasmania. I was so unfit when I started and actually I feel like I rode myself into it a little bit but um, just such great support from your staff at Ballionera Tours and thanks for coming in today. Evert, it's been um, great just to have you experience the last day with me. Black and Tassie completed, swim in all my shoes, everything done. Oh, bikes in the room, Ballionera Tours, they're onto it. What a room. So I'm gonna spend a couple of days in Tassie now, just chilling out here. Get back in that pool. We had sensational weather. What a lap. Oh, I've just had the best time on, a, on such a high. Yeah, Tassie's uh, one of my new favorite places. We are in Georgetown. Georgetown. And we are in chill mode. And it's beautiful weather. So we might get the two bikes out, the gravel. Gravel. And F12. <laughs> F12. Put a bed on the gravel. <laughs> <laughs> Get her legs spinning a little bit. Ring, 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 ring. <laughs> and you can ride down. La, la, le, la, la, le, me, me. La, la, le, la, la, le. Yeah, finally some downhill. Ew!
no problems living here. Oh, you wouldn't dare. <laughs> so we've just left our bikes down on the bridge, going for a little trek down the track, sand and shoes. It's all about the adventure, Yvette. Come on, push, 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 push. <laughs> I'm going for a swim. Woo! Well worth the sandy trek. La la let, la la let me be free